consider to be a timid mm. person, mm. you are actually very mm. weak and pious. Thank you, you Jesus. You are indecisive about life. Wow, thank you, Lord. Oh, but mm. just like the mm. Lord visited Paul, who used mm. to be the soul of Tarsus, Mm. When Jesus encountered him on his way to Damascus, Amen. and the Lord transformed his life from being mm. Saul to Paul, and he mm. became a mighty battle axe in the mm. hand of God. Amen. The Lord said he's making someone here a bulldozer, a Amen. major, major instrument Amen. in the kingdom. Like Hallelujah. A like a <laughs> oh, my God, you are going to be so Thank useful. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. You are no longer going to be useless. Like there's someone here, you are empty, empty, mm -hmm. literally mm -hmm. empty. You mm -hmm. feel empty, empty. You know that you don't have any stuff inside of you to even mm -hmm. offer. You mm -hmm. are empty spiritually, you are empty financially, you are empty mm -hmm. socially. Mm -hmm. Your life is completely empty. Mm -hmm. You feel it. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes you are even this, you are, mm -hmm. you, you are, you, you hide yourself in the background because you mm -hmm. know you think you have nothing to offer. The Lord said, I'm going to fill you up. Believe mm. this word so strongly. Amen. The Lord said, he's Amen. going to fill you up. Pray in the spirit wherever you are. Amen. Pray in the spirit wherever you are because you're going to be filled. You're going to be filled. There's a spiritual going to going to take place in your life. Now. They will feel so loaded. They will feel so loaded. You feel so powerful. You feel so full. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's someone here. There's a major hindrance, a limitation against your life. There's like a barrier. I can see it as I speak right now. It's looking like a barrier, an invisible barrier that is stopping you from being, from launching out, stopping you from going out there. You have all mm. that it takes. As a matter Amen. of fact, people see it in you. Amen. And you have all that it takes to be a success. Amen. You have all that it takes to be mm. recognized, to be celebrated. Amen. Amen. But what is happening to you is completely opposite of who you are. Amen. Satan has put a limitation, a limit, a limit, a limit, Amen. a constraint, a barrier. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, I remove that barrier now. Amen. Remember Amen. Daniel, Jesus. he started to pray for the, for the first day, he started praying for Jesus. The Bible said God had him. But Prince of Passion, Prince of Passion, the price we pray. Now I'm going to foretell into your life. From now, your laughter has started. In the name of Jesus, your laughter has started. You will laugh again. In the name of Jesus, from Amen. now, Amen. you will receive an unexpected upliftment. Amen. By the Amen. power of the Holy Spirit, you will receive Amen. an unexpected upliftment. Amen. An appointment you are not expecting Jesus. is going to come your way. Joy, Amen. good Amen. news Amen. is Amen. coming Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody here, you are feeling so lonely. Mm -hmm. So lonely. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether the loneliness is born out of, you know, mm -hmm. disappointment from people who you trusted, mm -hmm. or the loneliness is born out of the fact that you are not in any relationship leading into marriage, mm. Mm. but you are feeling alone. Mm. You are feeling rejected. You are feeling mm. disappointed. Mm. The Lord said, I should tell you mm. that whatever is responsible for that loneliness, mm. whatever is responsible for that loneliness mm. has become a byword in your life. Amen. It has become a byword in your life. It's no longer going to happen. Amen. You will no longer feel lonely again. Oh, welcome, Pastor T. Thank you so much for joining today. I'm so excited to have you here. <laughs> uh, so guys, as you know, today our topic is prophetic unction. 
um the lord literally gave that topic so i'm super excited for you guys to 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 just hear what the lord has to say about prophetic unction today i'm sure if you grew up as a christian while well, you would have always heard oh may you get the unction to function and sometimes you don't know what that means so i'm really excited for pastor Tune to touch on that today and there's a prophetic grace in this room right now this is a grace that has history and pastor Tune is one of the mo like most humble african not like i'm not even gonna say nigerian african men of god that i know like this man was bound to be, he was bound to have children that are like diverse, both white, black, blue, everything, because he's just one of the most humble men of faith that I've come to work with. Like he would just be like, it's just so simple. It's just, it's just, it's just so simple that usually I'm just like, you're so different. Um, And he really gets me to just genuinely pour out my heart. I've gotten to see the love of God in a treasurable, um, you know, treasurable way that I can't even describe sometimes. So Welcome, welcome with me, please, Pastor Tunde Odeh. <laughs> God, thank you very much, Remy, for having me. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. Uh, this amazing opportunity to be on this forum. Uh, I'm so proud of what God is doing through you. And with um, your life is a huge testimony. You know, I have a little idea, a little history of how God has carried you, you know, <laughs> nowhere to somewhere. What you are doing for God right now is mind blowing. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I can I can resonate with mm -hmm. where God is taking you to because um, not too many people are willing to surrender completely. Not too many young people, let me put it that way, <laughs> are willing to yield themselves to God mm -hmm. like you did. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so proud of you, and I pray that your life will consistently be an influence mm -hmm. to this generation. Mm -hmm. And over and above, you know, your passion for God, mm -hmm. your desire for the things of God, your mm -hmm. hunger, you know, will mm -hmm. also kind of become contagious to people around you and to everyone that you mm -hmm. come across in the course of this journey. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord bless you, you. And I want to say, a big welcome to everyone that is joining on this group, on this meeting, this platform. Let us pray. <laughs> Lord, I want to thank you for this amazing thank opportunity you, to, to spread the gospel Amen. through Amen. this medium. Amen. You created this medium for the gospel to become easy, Amen. to be broadcasted, to be published Amen. in one single location. Amen. People can connect from all over the world okay. and get blessed. Amen. This is an advantage mm. to the kingdom. Mm. And Lord, this same medium today, anointing that is required mm. to make the major difference and influence in the life of mm. people is already made available. Mm. Because whether a physical mm. meeting or an online meeting, God mm. is still God. Amen. The word is not a respect of distance. Amen. The centurion Amen. in Matthew 8 said, Amen. Speak thy word Amen. only. Amen. Hallelujah. And my Amen. servant shall be healed. And Amen. Lord, that very moment you spoke the word and the servant was healed. I Amen. believe from Canada here, Amen. people in Nigeria will be healed. Amen. People in America will be healed. People in the Caribbean will be healed. Amen. People in Amen. Europe will be healed. Amen. The Make word is going to go out there and bring about major, major transformation in the life of all the audience connecting to this forum. Thank you, our Father. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A Bible to the book of First Timothy, chapter 1. Because the Bible remains the pivotal, the foundation, the strength of everything we do. The word of God is light. The word of God is power. The word of God is the energy that we require to drive the gospel to the promised land. So 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 18 is where I'm going to be taking my scripture from. Uh, the Lord has led his daughter, Remy, to ask me to talk about prophetic unction. Prophetic unction is being bastardized in our days. Uh, people say what the Lord hasn't told them to say. And it, it has brought so many forms of um, 
will I say discouragement, disenchantment, setback, you know, to so many in the body of Christ. You know, the word of God in the in a way is being watered down. Because when you say what the Lord hasn't tell you to say, or what you are not led by the Spirit to say, you're on your own. And when people get tired of hearing you prophesy and they see no result, you know, they begin to undermine the word of God. So I, I personally am extremely a bit wary about prophecy. Even when I am prompted to prophesy, even when I'm prompted to do so, I, I do it with a lot of decorum, you know. Um, but many times the Holy Spirit have chastised me and said, look, whenever I tell you to do this, it's all about me. It's not about you. Don't be worried about what the people will feel. I, it's my work. Go ahead and do it. So I, I have learned to yield. I have learned to submit to the Holy Spirit whenever I'm prompted to speak, to prophesy. Now, um, the, the scripture we're about to read is Paul's letter to his spiritual son Timothy. In verse 18 of chapter 1 of First Timothy, he said, This I charge and I commit unto you. This I charge. Charging means to prompt someone, to provoke something, to provoke an action. And I also commit to you, my spiritual son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before concerning you, words that are spoken, prophesied concerning you, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. That thou by them mightest war a good warfare. I'm reading King James. That's a Bible that I'm very used to. I know we have uh, <clears throat> so many Bibles nowadays that, are, that speak simpler English. So you can read it from your version and get a clearer picture. But what is Paul trying to say here? Paul is trying to let Timothy understand that, yes, prophecies have gone concerning you. Declarations have been made over your life. But for you to see these prophecies come true, you have a role to play. You have a responsibility. Many people receive prophecies and they go to bed. They receive prophecies and that's it. You have a responsibility. You have a role to play to activate, to put to work, to see to the manifestation of the words that are spoken into your life. So Paul said, in order to make this happen, Timothy, thou by thou will engage in a warfare. That's why in this meeting, after the Lord is going to lead us to foretell, by the grace of God, to foretell, which I'm going to be expatiating on later, we are going to invest time in praying. I love to pray. The Bible says the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Know that the weapon of our warfare, brethren, they are not carnal, Jesus mighty. They are mighty through God in pulling down of strongholds. So we need to pray. We need to invest some time in prayer. Get ready to pray. Get ready to pray because we are going to pull down strongholds and you're going to see this all following. So Paul said to Timothy, you will need to engage in warfare in order to activate the words that have been spoken, that have been fought to, told concerning you. Don't go to bed, Timothy. Don't go to sleep, Timothy. If not, the word is going to be in vain. Faith without works is dead. God, in his wisdom, understand that if we do not contribute in making things to happen in our lives, whether physical or spiritual, we will abuse it. We will trivialize it. 
we will commonize it. And so God wants us to be involved in whatever happens in our lives. We have a role to play. And unfortunately, particularly in Africa, the reason why we don't see the manifestation of the declarations that are made on our pulpits, on our altars, is because we go to sleep when God uses men of God to speak into our life. We don't do anything about it. We are just waiting for God to do everything. No, it doesn't work that way. You have a role to play. Hallelujah. You have a role to play. You have a role to play. Glory to God. When Moses was in that wilderness, when the children of Israel were at, were at war in the valley of Elah with the Amalekites, the Lord told him to lift up his two hands. And the Bible said, any time the hand of Moses is lifted, the children of Israel prevail over the Amalekites or the Midianites. Anytime the hand of Moses comes down, the enemy prevail over the children of Israel. At a time, at a time, his hand was weak. Thank God for Aaron and all who came and observed it, even though they were not told, but they observed it, and they came and they were lifting up the hand of Moses. They became his hand lifters. And that was how Israel prevailed in that battle. So, what is God saying? Is it that God cannot allow the battle to be won without the hand of Moses lifted? Of course. The battle will be won, whether Moses lifts his hand up or not. But God wants you God wants Moses to play a role. He wants us to be involved in the battle. So what are you doing in your own capacity to activate all the prophetic words that has been spoken to your life? There's an unction to prophesy this morning, this afternoon and this evening, wherever you are. God is the same. The time is the same. There's a prophetic unction. I feel it right now in my body. I feel it right now in my body because I spent time to pray and to prepare for this meeting. I feel the anointing of God from the crown of my head down to the sole of my feet. I feel it. And I don't want to leave this meeting without seeing the effect, without seeing the impact in your life. So, so I, I, you are tuning in the realm of the spirit. You are connecting in the realm of the spirit. You, you, are, you are aligning with what is going on on this platform. And you are also praying in the spirit. I am not here to excite you. I am not here to entertain you. I'm not here to make you feel cool. I am here to bring you the counsel of the Lord. Because we must make difference in this generation. The world is waiting. According to the book of Romans chapter 12. For the endless manifestations of the sons and the daughters of the living God. People are waiting for you. Generations are waiting for you. Nations are waiting for you. Leaders of the world. They are waiting for you. Men and brethren, we cannot carry God and remain the way we are. There must be an impact. There must be a difference. Our life must be visible to the world. I was talking to my family this morning and I was reading from the book of Genesis chapter 1 where the Lord said, the Lord created the earth with the spoken word. And I told you, and I told my family, I said, we are God's children. We have the capacity to create like our father. We have the capacity to create things like our father. If the Lord in his word spoke, let there be light, let the firmament be, let them show up, let the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, let them manifest. We are sons and daughters of the living God. We have the capacity to be created. What are you creating? The Lord said to them, to Moses, don't you know you are God? I have made you a God over Pharaoh. And Moses did not take that carelessly. He actually became God over Pharaoh. So there's something inside of you people of god that this prophetic unction is going to activate today today and now now as i speak right now there's something that is about to happen to someone something is about to happen to someone there's somebody listening to me there's somebody listening to me you are carrying a major burden holy ghost you are carrying a major burden you are carrying a major burden, you are carrying a major burden. It's, it's weighing you down the burden is so heavy on you right now and the lord said i should tell you this burden is lifted this burden is lifted in a few days you will carry this burden no more because miraculously the hand of god is going to resolve the major 
weight you are carrying. It's going to take it off from your shoulder. Write it down. This burden will be rolled away off from your shoulder. Hallelujah. So the word of God is prophetic in nature. When one receives and believes the word of God, the word has the power to bring to pass what it says in the life of that believer. So it has to be mixed with faith. Faith, according to the book of Hebrews 11, 1, the Bible says is it, 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 the expectation of things that we hope for. And believing that the things that we do not see, we manifest. Faith is the expectations of the things we are hoping for. And also the manifestation of the things that we have not seen. Believing that it's going to happen. So when the word of God is declared in unction, is declared in power, is declared in authority, and you just receive them carelessly, or you just receive them and just say a careless amen to them, and you don't ruminate like a Berean Christian, you don't echo it, you don't, you don't chant it, you don't receive it, you don't claim it, you don't own it, it remains useless, worthless. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. They that must come to God must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of those who diligently, diligently seek him. Hallelujah. I love God. So, prophetic unctions has the capacity to be activated only when it is mixed with faith. The word of God is your spirit according to the book of john chapter 6 verse 63 the word of god is a spirit what do i mean the word of god is is it's 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 a being in spirit form whenever the word of god is being spoken at any forum i picture it i view it i imagine it that it's a personality showing up before me sometimes when I my faith is strong, I see myself embracing the personality. That's when I know that the word that is spoken will be activated in my life. I, if, if, for example, the minister of God on the pulpit say you are blessed, I see that word blessed as a personality, leaving the altar and walking towards me, and I say this is blessing, and I receive it. I I imagine the word of God as a personality, even though it's a spirit. God's word endure it forever. Heaven and earth shall pass, but the Bible says no jot of his word will go without being fulfilled. So today we will be engaging in prophetic unction, driven by warfare. We will be engaging in prophetic unction, driven by warfare. This prayer will open your eyes of spiritual understanding for you to also recognize the role and the responsibility that you have as a child of god to activate the unction in prophecy now we have two types of prophecy and the one that we are doing today is the fourth telling there are two types of prophecies or two types of prophetic unction. The anointing to prophesy. When it comes upon a man, there are two ways. Number one is either you are foretelling. F-O-R-E. Foretelling. Foretelling, this is a type of prophecy where one speaks about the future before it happens foretelling is a kind of prophecy where someone speaks of the future before it happens this grace is only given to those whom god has called into the office of a prophet or the office of a prophetess so as a prophet you have the ability to foretell Speak about the future that God has revealed to you. 
The Bible says God revealed his future plans to his prophets through dreams, through visions, through trance, or through the word of God. God also showed his prophet things that will happen in the distant future concerning a nation or an individual. Example of prophets in the Bible is Isaiah. We know them. We know Jeremiah. We know Ezekiel. We know Elijah, Elisha, and so on and so forth. This man prophesied and it happened. They spoke about the birth of Jesus. And it happened. You know that of Isaiah in chapter nine, chapter nine, where he said, "Unto us the child is born; unto us the son is given. His government shall be called. I mean, his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, and so on and so forth. And the government shall be upon his shoulder." That was Isaiah foretelling about the birth of the Messiah. Now, the second type of prophecy is foretelling. F O R T H, fort telling. This kind of prophecy that involves the bold, courageous declaration of the word of God concerning a situation. Bold, courageous declaration of the word of God concerning a situation. When Elisha was caught in the web, when the children of Israel, the children of Israel were in hunger, were impoverished, women were already killing their children for food. I think that account is in the book of First Kings. And the king said, we cannot have a prophet in the land. And this kind of thing is happening. And they went and they fetched Elisha. And under Durex, Elisha had to prophesy. The unction to prophesy came on him. Glory to God. He prophesied. And he said, by this time tomorrow, a measure of barley shall be sold for a shekel. A measure of flour shall be sold for so, so, so amount. It was so believable that men doubted it that action was not a foretelling it was a foretelling anytime a man of god a servant of god is required to speak about the situation the unction comes on him right there whether it has been revealed to him before or not to speak and the heaven is bound to honor what he has said that is Fort Felling. Elijah showed up in First Kings chapter 17, where, where the widow of Zarephath was going around picking sticks in order to put together her last meal that she will eat with her child and that. And Elijah showed up and he said to her, Woman, make this meal for me first and be sure that when you make this meal for me first the oil and the flour will not fail will not fail and she did even though it was a challenging decision to do but she believed the word of God's servant Elijah and she did and the Bible said that meal did not fail for the space of three and a half years when the heaven was shot over Israel. That was foretelling. The anointing is upon every servant of God. That capacity is there to speak and then you see things happen. So that, that was not born by a revelation. It is true. That the Lord has said to Elijah, go to Zarephath for I have prepared a widow there to feed you. But God did not tell him to prophesy. He just relied on the word of God and the unction for prophecy happened. So people of God, this is what we are called to do as servants of the living God. The unction to prophesy is here. The grace to prophesy is here. The power to prophesy is here. I am not here to foretell, but I am here to foretell. 
I'm sure you have the understanding. I'm sure you know the difference. I'm not here to foretell, but I am here to foretell. And listen to me. It, 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 there's no difference between foretelling and foretelling. If all the end result is manifestation of whatever the man of God said, that's fine. The word that I speak, the Bible said they are spirits and they are life. The word that I speak, they are spirits and they are life. The word of God is not going to fall to the ground. That's why we're here. Why do we want to see prophecy being fulfilled? It expands the kingdom of God. In the book of Deuteronomy 2.24, God told the children of Israel that he has given them the land of all the surrounding hidden nations as an inheritance. But when he told them, did it just happen on the platter? They war. They fought battles. They fought against the Amalekites. They fought against the Jebusites. They fought against the Perizzites. Even though God has told them that this land is already yours. <laughs> and I'm trying to buttress what I said earlier. That you have a role to play when there's a prophetic unction in your life. Sometimes you need to sow a seed. And I'm not trying to converse for money here. Sometimes you need to sow a seed in order for a prophetic unction to be activated. And that was what the widow of Zarephah did. If that meal hadn't been prepared for Elijah, possibly she would have starved and died like other people. Sometimes you need to engage worship. Just engage in warfare, in worship, in order to activate the manifestation of a prophetic word that is declared into your life. Sometimes you need to pray. And that's why I say we are going to invest in prayers today. Praise God. So I, 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 will con I will not want to say too much because I want us to pray. I have a very strong feeling in my heart that your expectation tonight will not be cut short. Can I have an amen to that? Your expectation will not be cut short. Every of your heart desire that you came with on this altar, the Lord is going to make it to happen in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to confirm every word that he is going to speak over you. There's somebody here, you are feeling so lonely. So lonely. I don't know whether the loneliness is born out of you know, disappointment from people who you trusted or the loneliness is born out of the fact that you are not in any relationship leading into marriage, but you are feeling alone. You are feeling rejected. You are feeling disappointed. The Lord said that I should tell you that whatever is responsible for that loneliness, whatever is responsible for that loneliness has become a byword in your life. It has become a byword in your life. It's no longer going to happen. You will no longer feel lonely again. You will no longer feel lonely again. There's someone here, your close friend, your close friend in this life, I don't know whether he's a she or he's a he, you know, you assisted the person, you know, to stabilize, to stabilize. You, 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 you were a strong pillar in supporting the person to stabilize, but the person backstabbed you. The person injured you, paid you back in a negative coin. The Lord said, I know you are bitter about it. I know you are angry, but the Lord said, I should tell you, vengeance is mine. Whatever you are planning to do to drive home your point, that you cannot treat me the way you cannot treat me this way. Leave it alone. The Lord said, I should tell you, don't fight for yourself. Allow me to take over this mm -hmm. battle. Mm -hmm. I will fight for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
I'm hearing in my ears a Yoruba song, Hallelujah. Emini any tie it you. We pick a lid down, call it she. Come on, she's a little no rebel. Oh, no, 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 that there's so many people here who may not understand this song it's not, it's not everybody but that song says i want to interpret it literally yeah. thank you holy spirit thank he you. said this, this song says this is the word the word made a conclusion about me that i cannot achieve i cannot succeed i cannot make progress but the lord had turned around my situation the Lord has turned around my situation and disappointed the talking of liars and diviners. So there's someone here. This is your new song. Hallelujah. This is your new song. This song, this song is going to be replicated in your life. Those who look down on you will suddenly celebrate you. Hallelujah. My God. They will suddenly, suddenly celebrate you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. There's somebody here, you have a challenge with vision. You, you are not able to see properly. Yes, you are using glasses, but it looks like your vision is deteriorating badly. And it's causing you some fear. You are getting a bit worried about it. The Lord is going to heal you tonight. The Lord is going to heal you. The Lord is going to heal you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I like us to just pray in the Spirit to create a conducive atmosphere for the power of God. Pray in the Spirit wherever you are. I want to hear you pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Spirit wherever you are. Pray in tongues. If you cannot pray in tongues, you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost. Or in case you were, but you have lost your tongues, just begin to plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. We must get ocean and brandia and the skeleton. We must get ra zagaya mabro desu debrena bro teke ya desu desu kanen bro ozia lo barata sanda no bra na zaya de kredia baba ba zinga bra to shinde ne bakata tabarando si kele baba ba manda grina askote ba libra ta doshi mando do bon lo teke te ne de de ya koni de ni baba do la daga 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 bar daga daga ni brande ya tanba elneste poronde ya kebo zaita lende skedu shabu mendi atara ndo de yande keres skedu shubra talika inande kredia wais kenta shanda ni branda ya kebo son ali brandi ata lembro do mera kata ni brandi ya cheke do shiande inda zika ni brandi ande kuprada ya lende the last one the year practice and the schedule and the para window the less schedule and the library and the celebra who never can thank you oh the somebody under the sound of my voice someone under the sound of my voice someone under the sound of my voice someone under the sound of my voice you are confused you are confused mm. you are about to take a major decision but mm. you are confused mm. because the consequence of your decision might either make or ma it's either make or ma and you have been in dilemma should i should i not should i should i not you have prayed and you have not received any direction and you are really confused as a matter of fact you have discussed this decision with a few people and you became more confused because some of the counsel you received were in the flesh the lord said i should tell you take that step take that step fear not hallelujah 
I am with you. Isaiah 41 verse 10 is the scripture the Lord is giving me for you. Isaiah 41 verse 10. The Lord said I should tell you to take the step. Don't worry, I will be with you. My God, Rina Saka, this is comforting for someone. This is comforting. Hallelujah. 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 You had a dream that you were scraped. You were shaved. You had a dream that you were shaved. You were scraped. Actually, it was a spiritual attack to set you back majorly, to set you back majorly, to set you back majorly. And actually, you are experiencing setback since you had that dream. You were shaved in that dream. The Lord said, I should tell you that you will recover what you have lost. Ah, you will recover what you have lost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You are recovering your losses. Whether they thought they succeeded or not, it doesn't matter. The God of restoration has taken over the situation and it is going to turn around suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. There will be a turnaround. There will be a turnaround. Thank you. There's someone here, there's this major storm raging. There's a major storm that is raging. The Lord said I should speak into the storm right now and say it should be still. So I speak into your life. I don't know who you are, but I decree that the storm that is raging in your life be still in the name of Jesus. Be still in the name of Jesus. I speak prophetically that the storm currently raging in your life is stilled in the name of Jesus. That storm is over. That storm is over. Hallelujah. That storm is over. The Lord has taken control of that storm. There will be peace from now. There will be calmness from now. In the name of Jesus, everything will be fine. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray in the Spirit one more time. Oh my God, pray in the Spirit. The presence of God is here. I can feel the power of God in the place. Just pray in the Spirit one more time. I just, I don't want you to lose the presence wherever you are. Please don't know that this is not about Pastor Odi. This is about Jesus. This is about Jesus. He is the same God yesterday and he's the same God today. What he did for one, he will do for all. The Bible said it is my father's pleasure, hallelujah, to give you the benefits of the kingdom. There are some benefits in the kingdom that you are yet to tap, you are yet to connect with. It's about to be delivered into your hand, but you need to connect in the realm of the spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Elianta Negelo. I recognize that you are here. I acknowledge your presence in this meeting. Winifred, God bless you. God bless you. My Shadino, Zubrand, Talebo, Mendiata, Pato, Limbre, Gano, Zimbe, Rania, Kares, Kedo, Yande, Barata, Gada, Limaske, De Yaporo, Beskidiende, Hidu, Libra, Tiande, Kurobosi, Thank you, Holy Spirit, Daros, Venderbo, Zimbadosia, Lando Robo, Santa Libra, Gadosia. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody God is making you a bulldozer. <laughs> oh, there's going to be a direct shift for what, from what you used to be to what God is going to make you. You are considered to be a timid person. You are actually very weak and pious. You are indecisive about life. Oh, but just like the Lord visited Paul, who used to be the soul of Tarsus, when Jesus encountered him on his way to Damascus, and the Lord transformed his life from being Saul to Paul, and he became a mighty battle axe in the hand of God. The Lord said he's making someone here a bulldozer, a major, major instrument in the kingdom. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh my God, you are going to be so useful. You are no longer going to be useless. Hallelujah. There's someone here, you are empty, 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 literally empty. You feel empty, empty. You know that you don't have any stuff inside of you to even offer. You are empty spiritually, you are empty financially, you are empty socially. So your life is completely empty. You feel it. 
sometimes you are even this you are you you are you you hide yourself in the background because you know you think you have nothing to offer the lord said i'm going to fill you up believe this word so strongly the lord said he's going to fill you up pray in the spirit wherever you are pray in the spirit where you are because you are going to be filled you are going to be filled there's a spiritual infilling that is going to take place in your life now you will feel so loaded you will feel so loaded you will feel so powerful you will feel so full yeah you will not allow pride to get into you no 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 you are not going to allow pride to get into you you will always acknowledge and recognize that it is god who is responsible for who you are or for what you will be very soon so don't pride and glory don't have self-glory in it because you are going to be a major reference point you are going to be a major rallying point yes this is what i'm hearing in my ears thank you holy ghost rode john telly brandia to the gear to siberia lindy bregedo peros kedisha linde ina nikebo bredia kesunde inia lady pronia galeshi idi and the kiribodia paras kedia lende kerema bregedosu li prania lady keregeboshia member those sotoroba pray in the holy ghost please i like you to pray in the holy ghost the reason why i want you to always pray in the holy ghost but i don't want you to lose traction i don't want you to lose traction i don't want you to lose connection pray in the holy ghost i think we are going to be doing a lot of prayers in order to activate this prophetic function we will do a lot of prayers my god Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's someone here. There's a major hindrance, a limitation against your life. There's like a barrier. I, I can see it as I speak right now. It is looking like a barrier, an invisible barrier that is stopping you from being from launching out stopping you from going out there you have all that it takes as a matter of fact people see it in you that you have all that it takes to be a success you have all that it takes to be recognized to be celebrated but what is happening to you is completely opposite of who you are satan has put a limitation a limit a limit a limit a constraint a barrier in the name of jesus i remove that barrier now remember daniel he started to pray for the from the first day he started praying for jerusalem the bible said god had him but prince of Persia, prince of Persia, the power that is controlling that territory hindered the answer to his prayer for 21 days until the lord sent angel michael to come and contend with Pasha in order for the answer to be released. Right now, the Lord is sending an angel to contend with the limitation against your life, to break that barrier. <laughs> I see broken. I see broken. My God, I see that barrier broken. My God, I see broken. Lord be lifted, O ye everlasting gate. Let the King of glory come in. Who is the King of glory? jesus christ the king of glory mighty in battle he is breaking the barrier he's breaking the barrier jesus is lifting up all the hurdles that are stopping you from manifesting to your glory manifesting to the nations of the world hallelujah 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 we showcase you we project you we present you to the world this is the prophetic unction for you right now there's someone that is wearing a crown i see a crown on your head I don't know whether this crown represents a throne, whether a political throne or an official throne or, or a marital throne, but there's a crown in your head on your head. I see a crown. Glory to God. There's a crown on you. Celebrate this crown. Give him praise for this crown. Give him praise for this crown. Celebrate him for this crown. This crown will not be taken again. You will not lose it you will not lose it nobody's going to take this crown away from you in the name of jesus there's someone here you've been dealing with unbelief you have been dealing with unbelief why because so many things that you thought would happen before didn't happen and you are doubting the word of god you are saying is god real are you sure what these pastors are saying is true the lord said don't doubt me anymore don't doubt me anymore i'm going to 
do something in your life that will make the whole world to bow their knees to me. In the name of Jesus, God is saying, I want your faith align with me. Don't allow the enemy to discourage you. Don't allow Satan to separate you from me. Believe in my word. I am close by you. I am near you. I am with you. I am inside of you. I see your groaning. I see your challenge. Believe because without faith, it is impossible to please me. I want to be pleased by you, my daughter. And then I will do what I have proposed to do. Don't delay. Stop doubting. Stop doubting. Stop doubting. Stop doubting. Why do you think you need a sign? A sign is what I have said my servant to tell you now. My servant is confirming it to you. This is the only sign you need because none, he never knew about your situation. I just put it into his heart right now and you need to know, you need to agree that this is me speaking to you because I've said it over and over to you personally, but you still didn't believe. Right now, don't allow doubt to separate you from what I'm about to use you to do. Thank you, Lord. Rima direke do sendere boshia. Lebra gado zibandere boshi terege dosia. Are you praying in the spirit? The prophetic unction is in the house. The power of God is in the house. I feel so strongly that the Lord is putting the word in someone's mouth. I don't want to be alone making this declaration. I know that the Lord is putting the word in somebody's heart right now. If you are led to speak, I want you to mute and say what is on your mind. Say what the Holy Ghost is putting into you. We want to have a collective benefit of what the Lord is doing this minute, this, this evening. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes. If the Lord is laying anything on your mind, don't hesitate. Feel free to declare. Feel free to share. We are children of God. Nobody has an autonomy of God's word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Shiyan, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want to talk about what you have addicted to. Let me say the way the Lord is putting it in my mouth. You are actually addicted to pornography. You are addicted to pornography. You are so addicted to pornography. Thank you, Jesus. Three days, three days. Rekabarosha. 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 Jesus. Rekabarosha. Rekabarosha. Hey, Rekabarosha. Hey, Jesus. Rekabarosha. 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 Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, destroy that strong influence over the life of this person. Destroy that strong influence over the life of this person. Linda, the singiri budi bayama, singiri budi budi budi. The word of God is strong and powerful, sharper, sharper than two any edged sword, piercing in into the bones and into marrows, tearing in asunder all things that stand and militate against the word. I decree in the name of Jesus, every strange influence holding you down in strange addiction is broken now. It is broken in the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost is setting you free. You will no longer, you will no longer, I command you to become irritated. In the name of Jesus, you will become irritated. You will lose appetite for this strange addiction from now. Now, as I speak, I command the devil, that demon that is domiciled inside of you, pushing you into this addiction, to live now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you, pack your load and leave. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Go!
Thank you, Father. Whomsoever the Son of Man has set free, they shall be free indeed. You will no longer dwell in this in this dirty lifestyle. In the name of Jesus, the peace that surpasses human understanding, I give unto you. The Son of the Lord is giving peace to receive peace, peace of mind. In the name of Jesus, the crisis that you are going through is over. The crisis that you are going through is over. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. There's a setup. There's a setup against you. There's a setup against you. There's a conspiracy against you. The Lord said He has destroyed that conspiracy. It you, the the way you will only know that you are the one that I am talking about is that those who are one of them that is involved in the conspiracy will come and confess to you. This is what we planned, but it failed. Then you will acknowledge this word of prophecy. That's how you will know that you are the one I'm talking about because the Lord has thwarted the conspiracy already. Oh, the Lord has frustrated the agenda. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is what the Lord does. This is what the Lord does when a man comes into his presence. This is what the Lord does when you take advantage of the presence of God. This is what the Lord does when you don't trivialize any gathering of the children of God. God comes through for you. He settles your case. He addresses your matter. God is so happy that you join this call, this very moment you left all that you were doing to connect to this call you are extremely blessed oh maria kalibo son torobo shire me kerebo son de libra gadosia linta legebo renia karaba there's someone here you are trying to reject a marriage proposal from somebody because he had been married before you are doubting whether this is god's will for your life or not the Lord said, I should tell you, <laughs> don't call what I have blessed cost. Don't call what I have blessed cost. I have chosen this. It is my decision. Don't call what I have blessed cost. So please, the Lord has answered your prayers. Don't delay. Don't delay. Your tears are wiped away. This is what the Lord is doing for you right now. The ways of God are different from the ways of men. The way we look at things are different from the way God looks at them. God is settling you. Don't miss this opportunity because if you do, I don't know whether you are going to have it again. I don't know whether it's going to come to you again. This is what I'm hearing in my ears. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's someone here. The Lord is bringing you out of a snare. Out of a snare. I see you escaping out of the snare like a bird. I see you coming out of the snare like a bird. Hallelujah. I see you coming out. Oh my God. Mashirebo seteli brandi atinamadi. Ruke belende shigeri brako si berende skedi eredede. Weria mendo. Pelu go zumbre di atalenge di akerebo siriande kiri baba baba. The new mind, a new spirit. A new mind and a new spirit. A new mind and a new spirit. The Lord is circumcising your heart. The Lord is circumcising your spirit. You begin to see things the right way. You begin to see things in the light of the light of God, in the eyes of God. You've been seen wrongly. You've been seen wrongly. That's why you've been taking wrong decisions. The Lord is going to cause a circumcision to take place in your heart, a cleansing, a purging. You begin to see things in the right way, in the right direction, and you begin to take the right decision. This is a miracle, a deliverance of the mind. No wonder the Bible says, be thou transformed, hallelujah, by the renewing of your mind. Be thou transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mind miracle, mind deliverance, mind transformation is huge. It's major. It is huge. It is major. Nothing happens in the physical if the mind is not in alignment with it. Don't forget the spiritual is the mother of the physical. God is called doing a major transformation in someone's life here. This is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My God, Renisha Libra Kori Masse, you've been very slow. Everything about your life is slow. Everything about your life is slow. People go ahead of you. You are tired. All those who you started school with, they have gone ahead of you. All your siblings have gone ahead of you. Everything about you seems to be slow. The Lord said, a thousand years is like a day before me. <laughs> oh, the Masidia, it was it not Elijah, who the Lord, after he has anointed it, he outran the chariots of Ahab. He go to the gate of Israel, even before, I mean, before the man who was riding on the horse got there. The spirit of speed, hallelujah. My God, the spirit, the anointing for speed, the unction for speed. You are going to catch up with those who are ahead of you, and you are going to overtake. You will catch up.
caught up with those who are ahead of you and you will overtake this is what i'm hearing thank you father blessed be god forever in the name of jesus christ we pray now i'm going to foretell into your life from now your laughter has started in the name of jesus your laughter has started you will laugh again in the name of jesus from now you will receive an unexpected upliftment by the power of the holy spirit you will receive an unexpected upliftment an appointment you are not expecting is going to come your way joy good news is coming in the name of jesus christ thank you father thank you jesus hallelujah in the name of jesus take possession of your right position in the name of jesus take possession of your right position there's a place that is meant for you go there and possess it walk in there don't be afraid of taking steps the bible said here god has not given you the spirit of fear but the spirit of boldness every fear every timidity that is limiting you my god that is deadening and killing your creative mindset <laughs> die in the name of jesus christ every power every force every influence that is destroying deadening your creative mindset die in the name of jesus christ receive the grace to begin to do mind-blowing things creative things in the name of jesus no more fear be bold be courageous the land is yours like the lord told joshua go and possess the land it is your land wherever the sole of your feet tread take it for a possession hallelujah 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 thank you holy spirit i see god decorating someone in the name of jesus christ i see god decorating you i see god decorating you he is the one decorating you by himself my god the garment that you're wearing used to be filthy but now you're wearing a turban you are wearing a, a garment of glory you are it's so beautiful it's so well decorated this is what i see this is what i see hallelujah 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 receive an encounter that you will never forget in the hurry receive an encounter you will never forget for the rest of your life receive an encounter receive an encounter you will not die you will live to prevail to, to to fulfill the counsel of god in the land of the living you will not die hallelujah you will not die the fear of death has been haunting you for a while now the lord said i should tell you you will live you will live long to see your children children every spirit of death i command you leave her alone pack your load and go you death your spirit i command you go i am a superior servant of god over you leave her alone you cannot torment her again in the name of jesus she will not die the lord has who created her just like it was in the case of Ezekiah, who after isaiah had prophesied that he should put his house in order for he's going to die he came to the lord and the lord added 15 14 more years the lord is adding more years into her life so you have no authority to hold her down or to threaten her again you are free from the spirit of death you are free from the fear of death in the name of jesus thank you father thank you father the lord is a consuming fire the lord is a consuming fire the lord is a consuming fire because you are precious before him you are precious in the sight of god the bible says, let no man trouble you let no man challenge you let no man threaten you the lord is a consuming fire he's going to consume everyone that is trying to challenge you every time one that is trying to silence you everyone that is trying to hold you down thank you father it is well with you begin to appreciate god wherever you are thank him if you have received a word bless his name you begin to celebrate what god is doing in the name of jesus christ you will no longer be jobless you will no longer be aimless you will no longer be frustrated in the name of jesus it is well with you this is what the lord is doing and he will confirm every word he has spoken to his servant because the word that he speaks they are spirits they will not fall to the ground thank you my father i give you all the glory it is well with your going out it is also well with your coming in in the name of jesus christ we pray amen. let me hear an amen, amen and amen 
and amen. 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 Guys, I want you to type in the chat. Just type in the chat. Type in the chat. Type in the chat what the Lord has done. Type in the chat. Yes. I want you to every everything Pastor Pastor uh, Pastor Tunde has said. I want you to type the one you received. Oh, I have received my job. Yes, good job. Whoever just typed that. I'm no longer jobless. I'm no longer aimless. I have received my ministry. I um the cloth of shame has been taken off me. I want you to type in the chat right now. We're going to round up in the next 20 minutes. We're going to be giving like a uh, uh, individual. Pastor Tundi has covered everybody already. I don't even know how to top this, but we're going to just to seal the logo for RTF. We're going to try to minister to one or two people personally. Um, and so I'm going to, I'm going to walk Pastor Tundi through opening the eye to see who is directly on live. But I want you to blow up this chat right now. I have received my job. I have received my ministry. I have received, I'm decorated beautifully in Jesus. I received my job. If you're on Facebook as well, please type the same in the chat. If you're on Facebook watching us, just type the same in the chat. You've received your job. You've received your ministry. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, this is I can't even write. I can't I can't even I can't even top I can't top this. The, the Lord is in the atmosphere. You can just hear the spirit in the atmosphere. So just type. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. And so shall it be. For every single one of you typing right now, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. For every single one of you typing, so shall it be. Receive that job. Receive that job. Possess that land. Possess that space. Receive um salvation for your family. Receive your testimony. Receive that job. Receive your ministry. Re receive your ministry. Receive your launching in the name of Jesus. Re receive your job. For every one of you typing, receive God's blessing. I can read what you're, what I'm read. I'm literally reading out what you you guys are saying. Receive your blessing. Receive your ministry. Receive your blessing. Re receive your ministry in the name of Jesus. Wow. Guys, before we before we uh, move into, I'm going to walk into the eye now and see who is live online. However, before then, can you help me stretch your your hand on the screen and just pray for Pastor Tunde right now? He just released a big bunch. Stretch your hand on the screen. I know we can't see you, but use an emoji. Stretch your hand on the screen and say, Lord, double of what you've released through this man back to him in the name of Jesus. Double portion of what you've released through this giant of faith back to him in the name of Jesus. Double portion back to him in the name of Jesus. Double portion. Double portion back to him. Meliko Siandarabo Shekerede. Double portion back to him. In the name of Jesus. Double portion back to him. In the name of Jesus. Remember, I heard I heard something. I said they said um, I heard something about pointing a finger. That when you point a finger, do you notice that there's four turning back to you? You point one finger, but there's four turning back to you because what you are putting is coming back to you. So as you've received today, I want you to point your finger at Pastor Tunde, knowing that. What the heart, the purity of what you're pouring into him is coming back. The, the deposit of it is coming back to you in the name of Jesus. That double, 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 double for double of this anointing over his family, protection over his family protection over his children double portion double portion lord double portion lord in the mighty name of jesus double portion double portion double portion in the name of jesus re bracadosha double portion in the mighty name of jesus double portion double portion i think it was elijah that said that if you want what you what it is that i have receive the double portion so yes we just release that double portion as children as as children that have received today we are all children in the face of the lord receive that double portion receive that double portion in the name of jesus wow wow thank you jesus now one more thing before now one more thing before before i move into the, the personal prophetic i want you to say lord i thank you on this chat just type lord we thank you with lord we thank you think about people in your life that thank you you you, you tend to give them more so say lord we thank you as a stealing because prophetic unction you actually have to be able to receive with faith and also take action so as the first action right right now type on the screen lord i thank you lord i thank you lord i thank you lord we thank you lord we thank you we thank you you've given us so much so much that we could not buy no of us paid to be here this right now so thank you jesus none of us could have paid to be alive this morning lord we thank you lord we thank you lord we thank you lord we thank you wow we just steward your atmosphere lord we steward your presence god we thank you for rain the rain of your atmosphere that is pouring right now so for every single person in their home right now i just release showers of rain over you i release showers of rain over you i release showers of rain over you 
in the name of Jesus, as much as science has been, nobody knows where rain comes from. So this, the showers of rain that nobody will be able to know the beginning, nobody will know where it came from. All they will see is wonder, like, ah, this person, how did you, how did you do it? The miracle of how did you do it? I release it over you in the name of Jesus. For every single person online, on Instagram, on Facebook, the miracle of how did you do it? The rain of how did you do it? A thunderous rain of how did you do it over you right now? In the name of wherever you're watching me from, from the rain of how did you do it over you right now in the mighty name of jesus wow thank you jesus for your presence i could not have paid for the lord to come we can only ask the lord to come i'm not i'm not in i'm not in promotion of any god that i can control or any god that i can command i can that can tell you come i can i can speak i can ask but he chooses to come and that's the god that i serve that's the god that chooses to come he chooses with mercy to come so wherever you guys are right now thank you say thank you jesus for coming 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 in jesus mighty name just a quick example um Okay, so silk wrap, you've been highlighted to me from the beginning of this. I release the grace, the grace, grace over you. That's all I hear. I hear grace. Silk wrap, I hear grace over you. So I release that in the name of Jesus. Grace. Mm. Oh, yes. I release grace and supernatural enforcement. And I believe this is for you and this is for Tosin Solabi. Supernatural enforcement. I don't know what that means for you. Grace, supernatural enforcement in the name of Jesus. Supernatural enforcement. And for both of you, I seal it with an enlargement. Enlargement of your coast in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So I'm sure you can see the rest of and guys as we're doing this can you just be actively just actively say amen if you hear your name so that we know that you can see it god bless you yes sir so the i bless god for all of you thank you lord yes lord yes yes sir. Uh, i know some of you are joining at a very odd time in your location yes. but you, you paid the price you make up your mind because you want to be part and parcel of this anointing yeah. and part of parcel of this grace upon my life mm -hmm. you connected yeah. it it cannot be wasted it cannot be wasted no 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 the lord honors your faith the lord will reward you diligently he honors your faith he will reward you diligently. the lord who has helped me helped me Mm -hmm. He will help you. I, I say that with emphasis. The Lord has helped me. My God, he will help you. You see, we pay my endure for the night where joy comes. Joy cometh. In the name of Jesus, for Tusi Solabi, joy cometh. My God, that's what I hear concerning to say. Joy cometh. Joy cometh. In the name of Jesus, your course is enlarged. I resonate with what my daughter has said. You know that someone's coast is enlarged. God is enlarging your coast. Get ready for a huge enlargement. In the name of Jesus, to say, Deba, I see the glory of God upon your life. It's, it's like a light. It's shining. It's so bright. You know, so bright that currently as I speak, I, I can see it. I can see it. And it is looking like, really? All this light for you, I, I believe that the light of God represents the glory of God, Amen. the glory of God. And when you carry the glory of God, you know, God, when you carry it around, doors open, gates open, ways are paved. You will no longer struggle to achieve because you are now going to be a mobile carrier of the presence of god this is what i see this is what i see this is what i see now now i i see concerning sick rap sick rap healing mm. healing oh, your body your has been battered with, with all manner of you know illnesses you are feeling so sick mm. but the lord is healing you my mm. god the anointing for healing is resting on you right now Amen. the power of god to heal and to quicken Amen. your mortal body my mm. god Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. The peace that surpasses human understanding. Mm -hmm. The Lord is giving it to Oyebanji. You have been in a serious storm. Mm. But the Lord is giving you peace. Amen. And this Amen. peace is going to come to you in seven days. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It's not going to be long from today. Peace mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. My God, Jackie. Ah! Mm -hmm. 
a song that came in earlier that mm. I sang. Mm. 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 That song is good for you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. I bless Amen. the Lord. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord for Amen. beautiful princess. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. I see numbers concerning you. Three are the Amen. numbers I see. Number one, Amen. two, three. I Amen. think number, the number three represents the Trinity. Mm. It represents the Trinity. That's what I'm seeing. Mm. It's numbers that I'm seeing concerning you. Three mm. numbers. Amen. Well, whatever the number three signifies is what the Lord said I should Amen. deliver to you. That's Amen. your portion of this meeting. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank Amen. you for joining in, Coach E. Coach A E. Coach K E. You are a bundle of blessing. You are a bundle of generations. You are not Amen. You are Amen. Big, you are not small. Many Jesus. prophecies have come to you about this. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is just a confirmation that you are Amen. a big person. Amen. But actually, you have not seen the manifestation of this thing called Amen. big concerning you. Amen. But now is the time. Now Amen. is the time. Amen. You are about to blow. Hallelujah. You are about Amen. to blow. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Thank Amen. you, Holy Spirit. I see Amen. concerning Joanne. Mm. Concerning Joanne May, concerning Joanne May. Mm. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank, thank you, Holy Spirit. There's thank an anointing Lord. that is going to mm. rest upon you for prayers. You mm. are going to be a mighty, mm. mighty weapon in the hands of God in the kingdom business. The day are days ahead of you. Mm. They are days that are dotted with glory. Mm. They are Amen. days that are dotted with so much fame. Hallelujah. Amen. So much fame. Amen. You are going to do so much for the kingdom. Amen. You are going to do so much for the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. You are going to Amen. do great things for the Lord. Amen. God is going to use you so powerfully in the name of Amen. Jesus. So Amen. shall it be. Thank Amen. you, Father. To everyone that have missed out, Lord, I ask that I give them a word. Amen. Give them those on Facebook, Amen. those of them on Instagram that have missed out, Amen. give them their own very Amen. word. The next time we are meeting, Lord, I want everybody to testify. Everybody. Amen. Amen. Without exception of myself, in the name of everybody, Jesus, amen. everybody, this I am doing not because amen. I want to score the gold, but amen. because I need to be glorified in the house. Amen. Is what we cause the needs of men to bow. Mm -hmm. Man is failing. Mm -hmm. He has been failing from time beginning. Amen. Lord, our choice is you, and amen. we are determined to stick to you. Amen. Lord, amen. prove that you are reliable. Amen. Prove. Responsible. One, we will do it for all. Mm. Let everyone under the sound of my voice come back mm. here on this Amen. platform. Amen. The Lord bless me who you Amen. have used to open Amen. this door of major prophets. Amen. Amen. Lord, in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ, announce what you are doing to her by your own self. Amen. Announce what you are doing to her. By your own self, <laughs> can be held in oblivion. My God, <laughs> the head of the in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Father, you. because the struggles are over. Amen. Things will not be able to go easy. Amen. To the glory of the name Amen. and the shame of the devil. In mm. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Guys, I cannot thank you guys enough for listening for yourself. And I pray that everything that you guys have, have heard today, God will bless you. Exactly. God bless you one billion fold. Amen. 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 <laughs> to Pastor Sunday, one billion fold. Guys, in terms of money, can you help me to use the, the chat, the emoji that has money and just be putting all the millions that you're transferring to this um, wonderful man of God right now? In in your emoji, we're not asking you for anything, your emoji, just million, million, spiritually, and as you're releasing it spiritually, just declare it that in the spirit that this is coming, in the spirit that this is coming, that in the spirit that this is coming. So just declare with your emoji, your four, uh, dollar emoji, just tap, what, if you want to type one billion emojis, yes, yes, just start putting it there. Start putting it there. Just start putting it there. 
Start putting it there in the name of Jesus. Two things Pastor, uh, Pastor T said. He said that when you receive one of the ways you do prophetic unction is that you sow in you sow in any way, both in money, in time, in seed, you sow and you also you also um you also partner with faith as well. So I release that over you guys right now. That you you something in your spirit tells you where to sow, something in your in your faith rises, an horizon in your faith in the name of Jesus. So, guys, if you've joined today, make sure that you don't leave here without following RTF with remy make sure that you don't live here without sharing this live to somebody somewhere um it's just been such a delight like this man of, and i just want to take a second to brag about this man of god you guys missed this in the beginning pastor t is somebody that has been with me in a very detrimental season of my life i met pastor t in 2018 or something before i even considered ministry school so i just want you to know that without this man that you are listening to right now remy will not be on this live right now i will be somewhere probably in the beach in miami stretching my legs and some bathing so not that i would have been <laughs> in the zoo but without this man of god this oil that you're seeing pouring on my head he was a very very big instrument in allowing me to push the word of the lord and bring it to life one thing i'll tell you about this man is that he knows how to help you style uh what do you say skyrocket the word that god has said over you this man before i even started ministry school told me i'll do second year and i was just like is there even second year in that school i had no idea and here i am today and and i know where i'm going i know where i'm still going and i'm sure he knows as well so i want you to even just help me to blow kisses now thank you for putting the money there help me to blow kisses because this is a father in my life i love this man so 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 dearly he has been there consistently i can call pastor Tunde at any time of the day <laughs> i just don't like to bother him he has been there very consistent he has been a very big instrument in what the lord has done in my life so guys help me to just say thank you help me to just say thank you and if you're asking how to follow his name of his ministry he he's more of like a, a, a pastor Tunde. it's actually a privilege to have him here today pastor Tunde travels everywhere to minister um to the glory of god so if he's new to um instagram and all that so if you would like to follow him just type Tunde or there look at the, the the people following if you click on the eye you'll be able to see his account just follow follow his uh, account name is Tunde or there so please make sure you do that follow him follow me guys thank you for joining today if you would like to partner with my ministry this is the, the name of my ministry is road to freedom if you'd like to partner with my ministry um go on my link uh go to my bio you'll be able to see links of how to partner with this ministry financially physically spiritually whatever it is